in our last discussion we discussed about the structure of carnal groups as it is seen also here it is planar and there are one sigma bond one pi bond and the angle around carbon atom of carbonyl groups is not always 120 but today I will discuss another two points with much importance it is polar due to presence of this oxygen atom as it's shown here also and the carbon atom and the carbon atom and this carbon atom is susceptible to uh, nucleophilic attack due to uh, positive charge on it. The slightly positive charge on carbon atom in the carbonyl carbon group as I shown by my finger uh, can be attacked by some nucleophiles. What are nucleophiles? Uh, either negative ions or negatively charged ions or molecules with lone pair of electrons. I am uh, uh, as for example in case of ammonia nitrogen bears lone pairs of electrons. Uh, I am taking the example of cyanide ion here first. Uh, look uh, this is one carbonyl system. This is one carbonyl system and here first uh, cyanide is attacking on the carbonyl carbon and carbon oxygen bond breaks and we get this there is a formation of carbon carbon bond and carbon oxygen bond breaking takes place take another example here is also another carbonyl system and I am considering alcohol this is alcohol this is alcohol methyl alcohol this is oxygen this is hydrogen and there is lone pair on this oxygen and if it attack with carbonyl compound this oxygen will attack this carbon like here you see it will it is and carbon oxygen bond breakage taking place carbon oxygen bond breakage and here carbon oxygen another bond formed and slightly positive charge on the oxygen that is being neutralized by uh, release of one hydrogen ion and so we get this. Here uh, in this reaction what we see that carbon oxygen double bond gets broken as I as we seen here and carbon carbon bond formed and also uh, the, this is one type of addition reaction often followed by water laws of water molecules. So this reaction is known as addition, elimination, uh, reaction or condensation. And as both aldehyde and ketones uh, contains uh, this uh, carbonyl group, so we can say that all aldehyde and ketones will um, will do this type of addition elimination and condition reaction um, but uh, there is a difference between aldehyde and ketones why this difference this difference is because here one hydrogen atom in case of aldehyde but here in ketones both are both are alkyl groups like this this is like this this is acetaldehyde this is acetaldehyde here this is acetaldehyde look one hydrogen is one carbonyl carbon atom and this is acetone two methyl groups as seen in the uh, figure and uh, there is a less this is less hindered this carbon is less hindered as is 
small group, but these are bulky groups. So there is a steric hindrance. First point is this. Second point is this. Uh, the positive charge on this carbon is partially neutralized by two, el two electron donating groups. Alkyl groups are electron donating groups. But in case of aldehyde, uh, it is less uh, as there is one alkyl group so it is more positive than this than that in case of ketone so we can say in case of aldehydes are um, most susceptible for oxidation reaction with mild oxidizing agent but in case of ketones it will get oxidized with um, strong oxidizing agent under drastic condition and there a carbon carbon bond breakage will take place but in case of aldehydes no carbon carbon bond breakage will occur now uh, let us start with first oxidation reaction as i already discussed in case of aldehydes it are easily oxidized containing the same containing the same number of carbon atoms generally oxidizers are uh, acidic dichromate solution alkaline permanganate solution the reaction is this in case of using uh, acidic dichromate solution we will get acid but if we use permanganate then we will get acetate ion and similarly chromium in case of chromium chromium uh, from positive 7 state it will go to chromium 3 state and also in case of manganese also uh, uh, their change in oxidation number also takes place but here you know, we will see the color change like this if we start the reaction then the color of potassium dichromate is orange like in this test tube uh, mixed with aldehyde and after sometimes the change color will change into green as they are already formed uh, chromic ion uh, CR3 positive and in this way we can prove that the reaction aldehyde takes place in oxidizing reaction very easily. But ketone will not respond in this way very easily. Ketone will do this reaction under drastic condition. So here dichromate from orange to grain. Again I repeat aldehydes oxidized to carboxylic acid with same number of carbon atoms. Uh, with mild and strong oxidizing agent, some mild tolens, mild oxidizing agent, tolens reagent, failing solution, Benedict solution. Uh, tolens test is called also silver mirror test. Why? The in case of tolens test, uh, ammoniacal silver nitrate solution is used, and this is the reaction. Here, yeah, silver one goes to metallic silver uh, in the inner layer of the vessel, say test tube, a coating of silver. Uh, does take place and so it look like a shining mirror and that is why it is called as uh, silver mirror test. The reaction can be written in the simple way. So there is a complex ion. Actually Tolens reagent is, um, uh, is prepared during the reaction. It is not stored in the laboratory. It is very unstable and this, this type of uh, reaction takes place we get a bright silver mirror reaction may be written in this way also in this way notice it practice it in your exercise book now uh, this is a mixture of tolerance reagent and the sample that is aldehyde uh, and after mild again uh, notice that the reaction takes place under mild condition mild heating in water bath not direct heating and after heating on water bath, we will get this shining mirror, a, the coating of silver in the inside wall of the test tube, the shining mirror. That is the Tolens test. Now, failing test. A failing, in case of failing test, a failing A and B are mixed during the reaction to get a failing solution. Failing A is uh, acidified by sulfuric acid, cupric sulfate solution and failing B is potassium 
sodium potassium tartar erosyl salt in sodium hydroxide solution. These two are mixed in equal proportion and we get a blue solution. And uh, uh, with the mixture of the sample that is the aldehyde, we get from cupric 2 ions that is from blue to red big chloral cuprous ion. Uh, cuprous oxide is formed here, is precipitated here. The reaction can be written in this way. Here the condition is also that mild heating in water bath, no direct heating. Here from deep solution, get a brick red PPT. Similarly, Benedict test is very similar with this, but in case of this, uh, we get, we take uh, sodium citrate in sodium covered solution in lieu of potassium tartrate in sodium hydroxide. Here also we get from cupric ions to cuprous ion and the reaction is like that. Here also the condition is mild heating uh, on or in water bath and the observation is the same. Now see the reaction. Before the reaction this is the color of failing solution or Benedict solution. Benedict solution rather to greenish. Uh, to some extent is greenish, but failing solution is blue, a mixture of failing solution and the sample that is aldehyde in a test tube is heated um, in a water bath and after some time we will get this uh, brick red colored precipitate of cuprous oxide. Now uh, the case of oxidation of ketones. Uh, I already told you ketones undergo oxidation under uh, drastic condition with strong oxidizing agent and also cleavage of carbon-carbon bond takes place. Uh, take an example, uh, say acetone, uh, say acetone, here acetone, look, this is acetone, two methyl groups around the carbonyl group, I, 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 hold the carbonyl group with my fingers uh, this red color is oxygen that is the carbonyl group and these two are methyl groups here also these two are methyl groups one this is methyl group this is methyl group under oxidation there is a cleavage uh, from one part we get acetic acid and from another part we get formic acid and these on decomposition will give carbon dioxide and water and if we do the reaction in alkaline medium then we will get acetate ion and formate ion. Now this is a symmetrical uh, ketone. Now, symmetrical means here both the groups around the carbonyl groups are symmetrical but in case of unsymmetrical ketone like this, this is butanol. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon system like this butanone. Here it is butanone. Uh, then how the cleavage will take place that is governed by Popov's rule. Uh, what is Popov's rule? Popov's rule is that cleavage will take place on that side in which uh, the carbon groups bears the uh, small alkyl group. Here uh, two groups, one is ethyl and one is methyl. This methyl group is the smaller than that of ethyl group and it is attached with carbonyl groups. So cleavage will take from here and we will get two breakage. One is acetyl and another is ethyl. And on oxidation, these two will cleave. Uh, from this we will get acetic acid and from this also get acetic acid. So we can say that on oxidation of uh, butanone, like this, we will get 2 moles of acetic acid. Now, I am giving two questions. Number one, speculate products obtained by the oxidation of 5 carbon ketone having one carbonyl group, that is pentanone. Uh, what will be the products? Write down in your exercise book and send to me. And also another question, uh, this type of ketones are CH2, CO, CH2R on drastic oxidation what we will get hmm? these types of ketone also you have to show this hmm. this is not in your syllabus but they are founder they are discoverer they are with us 
he is he is failing he is stolen bernard christian gotifat tolen who discovered the tolens reagent and tolens test is in the name of this scientist he is stanley rossitier benedict he is renowned for his discovery benedict solution so the test benedict test is in the name of his honor and he is hermann von failing failing test in honor of his their discoverer uh, i am finished here today i'll return back within few days with new topic till then goodbye